my video. I didn't think so. I don't want to blow your face. Anyway, um, so today we're going to be removing one of the airbags for the air suspension on this. Uh, I mean, this is just a trainer. This is just a frame trainer. So it's not going to be live, but we're going to treat it as if it is live. So uh, pretty much what the airbags do for the suspension of the truck is they help support the load and give it more of a balance. So they, one, it gives it more of a comfortable ride and it gives it a safer ride so that the truck is not bouncing all over the road and it's going down the highway or going down the road with a full load on the back of it. So uh, essentially the first thing I would do is first I would cut the air supply to these because the last thing I want to do is pull a hose and, you know, be like a kid when you take the diaper off, little boy. Yeah, I don't want that. So, uh, there. I would cut the air supply off, kick the hose, whatever I'd have to do just to get the air away from the airbag it's included. To get the airbags where it's deflated. So you can see both my airbags are deflated. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to raise the frame. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to flex the suspension out as far as, far as possible. And by doing that, if I was doing it, I would one either put a jack right here and I would just lift up the frame. You don't want to lift the axle because you're actually compressing the suspension and it's gonna make it a lot harder for you. This is how I do it. I'm just gonna shoot air into the airbag and that's gonna raise the frame off the axle. Um, use a piece of wood. I've already got one piece under there, but I'm gonna add another piece just to give it a little more height. Just like that. And now the frame is. Oh. That's not the best quality of wood. Supported, so now the airline is disconnected, everything's disconnected from it. So we're just going to go ahead and take the two nuts off that it requires to move this airbag. And here we, I guess, don't believe in uh, impact tools because speed is not an option around here. Modern airbag stuff, a sensor on there that'll automatically tell it how much to be inflated whenever you're cornering, accelerating, deaccelerating. The bags are going to automatically adjust, so you don't have to worry about sitting in there. Like I've got airbags on our tow on the, the light duty diesel for towing, and I've got to manually adjust how high they are, just depending on the load I've got on the rear to adjust so it, the, the truck doesn't squat on the frame. Essentially, why would we ever have to change these out? Well, just like tire, it's rubber puncture with a hole. So how I would test for a hole in it, while it's either on the truck or where I can get air to it, I'd inflate the bag. And the best method to do to doing so is with some soapy water, because with soapy water, when air gets attracted to it, it's gonna bubble up and take exactly where it is. But to be honest, you can use just water. I've just used brake clean before just to find a, a leak in a tire. It's still gonna bubble. It's just way more apparent and a lot easier to find with soapy water. If you don't have soapy water, splash a little water on there, it'll still bubble up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, putting this back on, just assemble. Line up your holes. I put the bottom one in first, and then I'll just compress it by hand. And then put a bottom nut on it. Nut on it. Now we know that it's in place. I go ahead and inject it and fix it back up.
I gotta do is fasten down the, uh, fasten down the airbag, reconnect the airlines, put air to it, leak test it, call it a day.